uh, I want uh, English speaking people to know what we're talking about. If I say Opigan, the French way, they might it might not resonate like the ancient Greek place on top of Greece. Uh, so even though the film is quite independent from uh, in terms of you're not you don't have to know the play in order to appreciate the film and the story and the, the um, uh, and just to feel like what the characters are going through. Uh, I, I think I, I decided to keep the name and the title of the ancient Greek play, so I wanted this link and for English speaking people like the link is and to you. <laughs> and uh, when you're writing scripts, where did you draw the line about you know which characters to include uh, and which characters just to scrap entirely for this kind of uh, modernization of the story? Well, like the first, uh, well, I think it means the story of a young woman, like uh, going against the law, uh, the written law of man, because she's following her own law, like the law of her heart, of love, of like her own sense of uh, of uh, justice and dignity. So, so in, in the the original play, it's her negotiation with the king. So when I was thinking about like. Yeah, uh, in nowadays, there's no like the authority is not one single person. So, mm -hmm. so maybe that's the main change I did. So she's uh, confronting uh, uh, police, justice, and then uh, uh, prison or uh, juvenile uh, care like system, and 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 then ultimately the figure of the father um, of uh, her boyfriend, Eman. So. So that's maybe the main changes, like the, uh, among the main changes uh, when speaking of characters in the original play. Other than that, I have I have like a, even the um, the uh, oracle. Uh, I I found a way to bring her <laughs> like uh, in her or him because it's it's uh, in the play uh, or the the character of Theresias. It, it's it's. It's always ambiguous if it's a man or, or a woman, and uh, but uh, in, in my film she's blind and she's a psychiatrist, so I, it only totally makes sense with what with uh, what meant the oracle in the play, and also like I brought the ancient Greek chorus with the social media because I thought like this way the ancient Greek chorus was like. Uh, it, like it, people not involved in the action, but people commenting, dancing, chanting um, uh, about the action, about the characters, about the emotions they felt. Or in so I, I I just thought like social media is acting the exact same way in our time. Uh, people not involved with distorting reality or supporting it or at least commenting it, creating over it as well. Because there's a lot of uh, of uh, participation in terms of like uh, uh, artistic participation. Yeah, I'd like to ask about that. Like, how do you depict uh, those social media um, sequences? You know, how, how do you decide how authentic, um, you know, how realistic to make them, how polished, that kind of thing? Um, I felt they really had to look as if they uh, they came from the people who actually did it. Um, so not not polished like uh, I would uh, we would see uh, ads or like very professional people um, like uh, putting up uh, a message and so so it has to look um, not professional but from people that are doing it from the heart or from like their like uh, very like do it yourself uh, tools and skills and. And at the same time, some of them they do have like a they they are very skilled and talented and and they can draw and they can sing and dance, but it still it has to feel uh, it has to keep the that come from some, somewhere very uh, uh, genuine. Uh, now we're here at the 19th Whistler Film Festival. You were here at the 19th Whistler Film Festival ten years ago, and you won the Orzo Award for a Canadian film. How did that help your career? Well, it was the the first significant award I won in um, in my uh, my filmmaker life, <laughs> and uh, well, it was uh, it was a great um, I mean for for confidence and for continuing uh, working because it's so much work and so to have like a 
some like uh, people I respect just uh, uh, saying yes, it, it was worth all the work. It's worth that you're you're going out there and you show the world what, what you've done with the team, with the crew, of course. But, um, and actually, when I because uh, uh, when I won the Borsos at that time, the uh, head of the jury was uh, Ivan Reitman, and uh, he has like still his. Uh, uh, famous production company in uh, the Sony studio in, in LA and I just called him when I was in LA a few weeks ago for the uh, Oscar race with Antigone so it felt just like okay I'm, I'm I'm kind of doing a loop now I'm coming back with her and still like in this like um, uh, competition of the uh, and, it, and I, I called the people who handed me the prize uh, back then, uh, a Toronto producer, Annie uh, Fetchman, and Ivan Weidman. And, um, and yeah. uh, will you be at the screening tonight? Yes, I will. Yeah. And are you going to speak before the movie? Yes, I yeah. spoke before, but I hope to speak more after to share with the audience. Yeah. What do you think people should know going into the movie? Like, uh, what are you going to be telling the audience? First, I, I want them to know that like, like um, they don't have to have read the play in order to appreciate the film. If, if they have, they, they will, uh, there are levels that will maybe brought to them and it might be quite interesting. But if they, uh, I don't want them to feel they have to go into it as with uh, like a prior intellectual knowing. It's, it's something from the heart. It's a, it's a story that's sent by itself. It's, it's a story of a young woman and like a, a dignity, resistance, and love. That's like very universal. Now I'm wondering when you're pitching this film to get funding, what was your short pitch for it that way? Uh, my short pitch, uh, yeah, it was uh, similar to what I just said. Like, yeah. <laughs> a, a, a very uh, uh, universal story about family, about love, about uh, dignity and resistance. Like a, a young woman uh, goes against the law uh, because of what she believes and like her, her set of values and, and she stays true to herself. So it is also the, the kind of story that was written like a, a um, I was inspired by a story written more than 2,000 years ago, uh, but still it's so relevant. Um, uh, it was when I was in my early 20s when I read the play, and, and, and I felt like I had to bring it back in, into a contemporary setting because because it feels still so relevant. Uh, resistance and love. <laughs> uh, tell me about your lead actress and uh, what distinguishes her. Well, uh, Naima Ricci applied uh, for an open casting I did in Montreal. Um, and uh, she was uh, part of the like, 850 people who applied. I, 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 she, she already, like the way she answered her, the, the questions I had for all of them, she was already like uh, special. I felt, okay, there's something about her. I had to meet her personally, and then, then, but then we we worked a lot. Like it wasn't like right away. Okay, it's you. You are Antigone. Um, I I really felt like she had to work, and I had to work as well in order like to to be confident. And and but she has something very unique, uh, which uh, I feel very blessed. Like uh, by all the goddesses and the gods of this world, like having found. A person who is she's so um, uh, there's something about her that uh, is almost mythical, and and that we cannot learn or as an actor or I can it's not something uh, um, she can work of course and she did work uh, very hard, but uh, but she has something uh, quite unique, and and I know like uh, I I I think it's it's very good for her like. The first uh, role that like she she took uh, on screen like was such an important one with a, an arc so like it, it's huge it's it's almost not human in a way it's a hero I'm thinking and uh, but but she could like express like all what she can uh, deliver and give to, to the world to an audience to 
to a drafter for um, quite comfortable for the, the rest of her career. Yeah, yeah it's quite a showcase that she you know, the title character. She's very much in most of the shots I play. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, finally, I'll ask, what do you have playing up next? Well, I have, um, I have many things. On, um, uh, I wrote a script in English, so, so now we're ready to finance it and and um, and cast. Uh, and uh, I have one of my friends who uh, is uh, a co-production in Canada and France. Uh, so ready for the finance, so we'll see what that comes. Uh, and I'm I'm still like um. Well, I love film, and I'm I'm a writer, director, and so so I like to put up my own uh, project. But at the same time, I'm very open to reading. It's such a long process when you have to write and and then uh, go into production with a film. That's why it's just like a 